So plenty of you wanted me to do a Bubba's basement like this. But I never wanted to because of how toxic it was. So now you guys get it. Probably the most toxic killer build out of every single killer build. But what we got here is the super toxic bubble build, which includes Insidious and No One Escapes Death. And if you've never been hit by this build before, then consider yourself lucky. But you're probably gonna get hit by it soon. <laughs> Mr. Tum Tums, if you guys know Angry Pug and when he does this. But what we got here is we got Iron Grasp, effects of struggling reduced by 75%, and the time to struggle out of my grasp is increased by 12%. Agitation, moving bodies is 18% faster when they're on my shoulder, and then my terror radius is increased by 12 meters while I'm doing so. Insidious allows me to be basically invisible, no terror radius, when I stand still for two seconds. And then no one escapes death, so permanent exposed effect. At the end of the game, when the exit gates are powered, one of the totems will be randomly chosen to have no one escapes death on it, and then decreased uh, successful and missed attacks by 8% and movements being increased by 4% and then for add-ons we're just gonna go with the insta saw tuning guide moderately decreases the chainsaw charge time and then primer bulb moderately decreases the chainsaw charge time with an ebony mori so if I do get to the point where I can hook a lot of them and then they start unhooking each other because I'm I'm gonna try and make it so they can at least get the unhook before I knock them back down and then I can use my ebony mori and we're gonna see how many people fall for this shit and this is probably gonna bring in a lot of salt our first game was decent got a 4k but it was boring as fuck so we're gonna keep going keep seeing if we can uh get things a little bit more interesting in here doesn't really help with uh Bubba's basement insidious camping build but we will try our best. Our basement's in the killer shack. I have a feeling he walked into the basement. <laughs> Woo! David King, the first one down. Oh man, <laughs> I had a feeling someone was going to come through there. Oh, and our totem spawned right here behind us. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Let's see if we can make this to the basement before he can get the save. I don't think he's gonna come for the save though. He's definitely not going to come for the save. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh man! <laughs> Don't stand too close to the windows, guys. You can get hit through the window. Oh fuck, that was amazing. Hey, at least I was able to use every single perk that I have. You know, sometimes I can't use certain perks because the situation doesn't arise, but I was able to use every single one of them this time. That was amazing. Oh, shit. That was amazing. This guy had a key. <laughs> oh, fuck. Can't use the Ebony Mori, though, because no one ever gets off the hook. What's the point? I might as well take it off. <laughs> Give me another game, like last game. And I will be very happy. Our uh, basement is in there, which actually is pretty decent because it has a good spot where I can hide inside of the 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 meat plate, like inside of the the shed to the side right here, right there. But first, we gotta find someone and get them down. I'm not going after you. There's no point. <laughs> You're just gonna run the tree. Fuck me sideways. Very nice. Shit. Fuck. This window's open. Get your ass back here, boy! Oh, he's got decisive shit. I made a miss! Woo! Fuck your decisive. And that's the way we do it, boys. So we wait here until he gets unhooked. Well, not until he gets unhooked, until we see someone walk in. They always expect you to be around the corner inside the basement, but they have to go into the basement to actually see if I am around the corner in the basement. So when I see them go into the basement, it's an extra little jump. <laughs> There's no getting in the bubble's basement alive or getting out of bubble's basement alive. Let's see if anyone else falls for it.
This is so toxic. This is one of the most toxic builds. Oh my god. <laughs> Death! <laughs> I get to use the Mori! Oh shit. Amazing. The first Mori has been used. No one gets out of Bubba's basement alive. Let's see if this next guy will come or if he's going to go try and find the hatch. Once one more person dies, then you can find the hatch. Nope, I'm going straight for him. See behind here. <laughs> the hatch was right there. How come I didn't hear it? <laughs> Look at these ranks. What's going on here? Oh, I just want to keep playing just to build the salty comments. I just, that's, that's, that's like the best part about these builds. <laughs> oh, I love the salt that comes with these types of builds. You can't get those salty comments playing the survivor. Well, some, sometimes you can. He was right here. Oh, he's right there. Basement here? Nope. I should still be able to make it, though. Out of my way, they're after me, Lucky Charms! Woo! I got him! That's my Lucky Charm, you bitch! See if I can do it from this side. He doesn't even know. You're trapped in here with me, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. This dad juicy right here. <laughs> he just, you wanna join the party? I have no problem with you joining the party. Everyone can join the party, everyone's invited. Don't you worry. Let's see if any. Let's see if he Kobe's, and then I'll let him save so I can just mori them both. No, 
crap. I was really hoping for that. Well. Four gens left, and they just kept feeding themselves to me. Oh, man. Sometimes, I enjoy it a little bit too much. A little bit too much for my own good. Gather me some extra points while I'm at it. Why the hell not? Oh man, oh man, oh man. If I would have waited like three more seconds, the Neo would have went in too and I would have got both of them. GG's. <laughs> Don't be the basement inside. Actually, no, be the basement inside here. Yes. Because th this actually has pretty decent spots to sit around the corner in Insidious. But the thing is, getting to the basement is going to be a problem if they're not running around the basement. Like, especially if they're over here, I'm probably not going to get to the basement. They're at the other ones over there. Yeah, I knew they were over at those ones, but I <coughs> didn't want to go over there. Just hopping through windows and shit. <laughs> now, I do think I'm going to make it. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll just make it. As long as I don't fucking hit into anything. Take the slowest route. Mm. Mm. <laughs> They're running far away from the basement. All right, you can go to the basement then. Someone's going into the basement. I don't care who the hell it is. It's one of you guys. Yo, dirty ass back here. And this is the way the cookie crumbles, guys. This is probably a pretty decent spot. As long as they don't come in from that side. How's it going, buddy? Oh man. Sometimes I wonder how this shit works. Hmm. He's probably he's already found the hatch most likely. Yeah, he's sitting on the hatch. <laughs> Yeah, he was. Crates. 
<laughs> oh man. I'm just all about this money. I don't think about no thighs. No girl, you don't know about me. So get off my fucking D. Born and raised in the thigh. This is real as you gon' see. Girl, you don't know about me. So get